We're going to explain what optimism is and what their super chain is and why you should consider building on it. You'll learn why optimism and their super chain is different from other chains out there and to see if it's the right fit for you. We have Ryan here, the chief growth officer from optimism, who's going to explain what optimism is and what their super chain is. Then at the end of this video, I'll actually show you how to deploy your very own smart contracts to the optimism mainnet network. Optimism is the creator of the OP stack. Um, I say that because it's a very critical part of what makes the super chain. The super chain is a solution of you know, shared horizontal scaling. It allows us to interconnect these chains to have them feel like one homogenous network. These are a bunch of L2s that contribute revenue back to the Optimism Collective. So they're sharing 15% of their sequencer revenue profit back to the collective. But the super chain value prop is interoperability, which we are laying down the groundwork and launching the second half of this year. Being a part of our governance process, having the different economic levers that we have across retro funding and airdrops and other mechanisms and building together is like a, you know, the, the, the core thesis here. The cool thing about um, OP Stack is it's MIT licensed. It's open source. Um, anybody can go take it and run with it. You know, protocols like Blast have leveraged OP Stack and others will as well. We're launching all of our interoperability features these next six to nine months. We focus on what we call platform devs. They can start as app developers, uh, but basically the idea is at some point you want your own block space and you want to be able to roll your own chain. And so a good example of this is WorldCoin, right? Starting as basically an application that kind of launched on OP mainnet, but now is graduating to building on the OP stack, being part of the super chain, and now having their own um, own block space. So what we're starting to see is platform devs even emerge there in what we call L3s, which are also supported on OP stack. And so you're starting to see L3s, which are platforms, you know, platform devs start to deploy OP stack chains that settle on the base uh, versus Ethereum. Most people are already interacting with the super chain in some way, shape, or form. They might not notice it. So, you know, you have Zora, you have Base, you have Mode, you have Metal, you've got World Chain, you've got Frax, you have all these different chains that are OP stack chains. Optimism across the ecosystem has a broad representation across DeFi, gaming, creator, NFTs, and everything in between. If you are an app developer and you want to deploy on OP mainnet, Grants Council uh, has over 150 million OP tokens where they're doing investments at the app layer for app deployment on OP mainnet. If you want to be a OP stack chain, um, you can be a part of the super chain. By being part of the super chain, any year you get access to retro uh, funding, which has 800 million OP tokens in it for investments. There are programs that we run like on-chain summer, which is across the super chain, which has about 600,000 OP encouraging creators to just build anywhere. You go to the super chain dev console. It's console.optimism.io. You could deploy an app uh, on the super chain in under 15 minutes. You can get, you know, test net tokens to build your app. You can get multi-sig support. Uh, there's the GitHub repo, developer forums, discords, all the other channels are there. So now that you learned a little bit more about Optimism's ecosystem and their super chains, we're going to show you how to start building on the Optimism mainnet. Now we're going to be using testnet here. So we're going to show you how to deploy a smart contract to Optimism's testnet. We'll first cover how to get some testnet funds. Then we'll use ThirdWeb and our pre-built smart contracts and dashboard to help you deploy an ERC-20 smart contract to the Optimism testnet. But we'll kick things off first by first getting some testnet funds so we can deploy our smart contract. All right, so I'm on Optimism's docs here, and we're in the section of their docs where they go over testnet faucets. So again, we're going to cover faucets, and we're also going to cover how to bridge ETH Sepolia on over to Optimism Sepolia testnet. So you can do one of these two ways to get some testnet funds in order to start deploying smart contracts on the Optimism testnet. Now we're going to use the faucet first. You can see right here we have the super chain faucet. You can click this link here. It'll bring you on over to the super chain faucet. You'll log in up here in the top right if you haven't logged in already. So I'll just sign out, sign back in here. And once you're signed back in, you'll just go to the super chain faucet. In the super chain faucet you can put in your wallet address right here and down here you'll be able to select the network that you want to receive testnet funds on so any of these super chain testnets here including eth sepolia as well for here we're going to choose op sepolia and we're going to claim 0.05 eth on op sepolia 
And there you have it. We claimed 0.05 ETH on OP Sepolia. You can view the transaction if you want, uh, but we're just gonna close right here. So again, you can use the super chain faucet to collect testnet funds on the OP Sepolia testnet. Coming back to the docs here, we're going to next go over how to bridge Sepolia ETH to OP Sepolia testnet. Now we're gonna be in a different part of their documentation here under the bridging section. And you can see here the super chain token list. And there's gonna be a link here to the super chain bridges UI. And we'll link all of these documentations and links to these tools down in the description below. So if you wanna check those out, head on to the description and you can go there as well. But we're gonna to go to this super chain bridge here. And on the super chain bridge, you should see something like this. We're gonna connect our wallet up here. So I'm gonna connect my MetaMask wallet. I'm connected here and I'm gonna go to the super bridge right here. In the super bridge, I am also gonna connect my wallet here. So we're gonna connect our MetaMask wallet. It's gonna ask us to switch network really quick. And in the, this settings tab in the bottom right, I'm going to come here and I'm gonna enable test nets. And this is just going to allow us to view the test nets that we can bridge to. So I'm gonna get again, OP Sepolia ETH here. And this is going to bring up our bridge from Sepolia ETH, and we're going to be able to bridge to OP Sepolia testnet here. We're going to have to connect our wallet again here. So we're going to connect our MetaMask wallet, switch on over to the Sepolia network. You can see I have some Sepolia ETH here, and we're just going to transfer 0.05 ETH. And again, we're transferring this from ETH Sepolia. So you can come back to the testnet faucets here if you want to. If you scroll down, there's some additional faucets that Optimism has in their documentation here. And you can also get Sepolia from any one of these other faucets here. You can also check these faucets here that also provide you with OP Sepolia. So if you want to just get your testnet funds from these faucets, you can as well. But if you're getting just Sepolia ETH, you'll have to bridge it on over again to the OP Sepolia testnet. So I'm gonna bridge over 0.05 ETH here and we're gonna hit deposit. We're gonna check off that we understand that this will take some time and once we deposit, we can't speed up or cancel our transaction as well as understanding that we have to pay the network fees and everything for this. So we're gonna initiate the deposit. We have our transaction here. You can see we're gonna be sending the 0.05 Sepolia ETH. We'll confirm that. And we can look at our activity here. We have this Bridge going over again from Sepolia to Optimism Sepolia. This is gonna take a few minutes, so I'm gonna pause the video here, come back once this is done. All right, we're back, and you can see this deposit has completed. We can go to this drop down here. It is deposited, it has been confirmed on the L2 here, and we now have bridged over some ETH Sepolia to the Optimism Sepolia testnet. And now that we have some testnet funds, we can start deploying and building things on the OP Sepolia testnet here. Now I'm on the OP Sepolia third web chain list page. We'll link this down in the description as well too. But in here, you can have all your network information. You have your chain ID, you have links to the faucet, you have links to the Explorer. We can even add this network to our wallet if we haven't added it already. So you can hit add to wallet here. It's gonna bring up the approval here if you don't have it in your wallet. If you do, it's just gonna prompt you to switch networks. Once you're switched on over, you can scroll down to the bottom here and you can deploy contracts onto Optimism's Sepolia testnet. Now we have some pre-built contracts here and what we're gonna do is deploy ourselves a token contract which is an ERC-20 standard contract. So I'm gonna select token here. In here, you can read a little bit more about ThirdWeb's token contract. You can even scroll down, view all the functions that are available within the contract. You can go to the events and see what events get emitted. You can go to the code here, which will give you code snippets, depending on the language you want to use and build with ThirdWeb's SDK. And then you have the source file here, which gives you all the source code for the contract itself. I'm gonna come back up here to the top right though and hit deploy now. And in here, we're gonna fill out our contract parameters and our contract metadata for deploying our ERC-20 smart contract. So I'm just gonna name this token here and give it a symbol of token. You can upload an image, add a description, configure the contract metadata however you want to. Down here at the very bottom, we have network and chains, and you should see OP Sepolia testnet here, but if you don't, you click that drop down. you can search your network or chain ID in here. We support mainnets, testnets, and we support any EVM compatible blockchain. Search for it here, select it, and then you're set. So I'm not gonna select anything, I already have OP Sepolia testnet selected. Then I'm gonna hit deploy now. 
So in here, we're gonna get a transaction that appears. This is for us to pay for the gas to deploy our smart contract. So again, we're gonna be using that testnet funds that we just got from the faucet or bridging, depending on how you did it. We're gonna hit confirm. That's gonna deploy our contract. We are gonna get one more pop-up here. This is gonna be a signature request to sign and add it to the third web dashboard. So I'm gonna just drop down here and hit sign. And there you go, we've successfully deployed our smart contract. You can see here we deployed it to the OP Sepolia testnet. We have our token contract name here. This is our contract address. And you have some different settings and everything you can go through here on the left-hand navigation. Under the tokens tab, you can now mint, transfer, airdrop, or burn this ERC20 token from this smart contract. And there you have it. You've deployed your very own smart contract to the Optimism Sepolia testnet. Now you can start building on top of this, deploying other contracts, all using ThirdWeb's tools. We have, again, a handful of pre-built contracts, as well as SDKs to help you build Web3 applications. We'll link everything down in the description below to all the resources that we mentioned in this video, along with a playlist and other videos and tutorials you can follow along to learn how to build Web3 applications.